Even before I auditioned for the show, I was just excited that the show was being made. So for me, it was already a win. My name is Mina Kim, and I portrayed young Sonja in Pachinko. My name is Yeo Jong Yoon. My character's name is Sonja. Hi, my name is Jin Ha, and I play Solomon Beck in Pachinko. I am Justin Chan, and I direct sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ko Ganada, and uh, we're both directors and ex executive mm -hmm. producers. Hi, my name is Sue Hugh, and I'm the showrunner, writer, producer of Pachinko. Uh, when I first read the script of Addiction, I felt like I had to do this. I felt an immediate connection to Sanja, my character, and I had to play this role. I think the source material is incredible. You know, I think what Minjin did with that book is just, just so important. To adapt that to a television series is such an honor. I saw it as an opportunity so to tell a story that feels like it's one that represents my family. Lastly, one that can be then universalized to tell the story of the immigrant culture all over the world. Four generations about their love and family, about their relationships, and how all the characters survive in that era. Personally, I thought I knew our history, but I learned of not only details about that part of our history, but the human story. There are world events happening, but then there are these, these sort of everyday people and families who are affected by it, and the choices they make during these world events are far-reaching, but it is a story that continues to repeat itself. This is a story of um, mothers and daughters as well, and the women of uh, of these families that often in history are not a part of the history book. It was very hard to forget the book. The more I started growing excited about, wait a minute, if you didn't tell it in a linear chronological fashion, if you jumbled up the timelines, then maybe there's something that's interesting here that I can contribute to this story. And what if you created a dialogue between first, second, third generation? Even before I auditioned for the show, I was just excited that the show was being made. So for me, it was already a win. While I was preparing for this project, I heard a lot of stories from my grandmother and she told all about her experience in the era. I relate to Salman as an immigrant's child. I relate to Sunja as a mother and a daughter. I relate to even Hanzu as someone who really had to make some hard decisions and force himself to close off a little bit of himself to survive. When opportunities are that slim for a community of peoples that have been oppressed historically within a country, there's a lot that that community can do to excel and try to break free from those chains. I've known about the Zainichi community growing up. My father speaks fluent Japanese, my grandmother spoke Japanese. I mean, like, my grandparents lived through the colonial era. And in spite of that, I learned so much in, in doing the research for this project. Human resilience and resourcefulness that's required in order to thrive in a, in a country that's not your homeland, I think that's what's relevant. If your family's here in the present, that means it has survived wars, famine. Having a slice of that and understanding it through this woman, Sanja, is, yeah, it was so um, engaging. Could you Pose for a thumbnail for the YouTube video we're going to be using as a YouTube Okay, a thumbnail. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>